Um, when I first got started with sled hockey, uh, I saw my mom saw a flyer for a hockey team. I've always been big into hockey, and my dad was a big hockey fan. So we went to go see a, a team play a charity game. And we, he, we went to see, and I couldn't really play on that team because it was too far away. But I, a team ended up coming into my area, and so I jumped on it right away and been playing ever since. Uh, getting to the U.S. national team, I was on the U.S. junior development team. Now uh, It's known now uh, for a year, and then I was called up, didn't try out, and I was called up in the 08-09 season. Having a physical disability, what were the main obstacles you had to overcome to become an elite athlete? Um, I don't think there were too many obstacles besides myself. You just got to get over the mindset. You got to get over the fact that you're disabled. It that shouldn't mean anything. It should mean that you can be as good of an athlete as any professional out there. You just got to put your mind to it. I think a lot of them, like especially Russia, are training together uh, 200 days out of the year, I think I heard. A lot of teams get a lot of ice time together, a lot more than we do. And they also get funding from the government. The U.S. is the only team that doesn't sponsor their Olympic or Paralympic teams. So I think it's really going to help their development. What do you feel the U.S. athletes need in the way of additional resources or training in order to retain the gold medal at the 2014 Olympics? Um, as far as what we could get more uh, money is always a big thing for training, for ice time, for guys. Like we don't train together all the time. We come together once a month. So t for guys to be able to have to pay for ice time, maybe if guys have the extra resources, they can pay for a little bit more ice time. They can get more ice. They can get more training in the gym. And we can maybe meet together a lot more. Give us a few words that go through your head when you first pull on the USA jersey. Uh, Dedication, I know, is one that comes to mind when I think about putting the jersey over my head. Um, uh, respect for my team, for myself, for my country. Um, just awesome definitely jumps into my mind because it's just a great feeling to be able to put it on. Every time it doesn't get any different. And finally, uh, probably just exciting because you can't wait to play a game or get into a practice. It's just it's an exciting time. It means everything to me. Uh, I'm al I've always been really big into hockey, and I mean, hockey's my life. I eat, sleep, breathe, drink, everything, just hockey. It's really great. Um, it means just everything to be on this team and to be playing for my country internationally because it's just a great sport, and our team is just, we have a bunch of great guys. How have you seen the sport progress since you first started playing? Um, I think. The way I've seen the sport progress is that everybody is a lot more on an even level. When I first started, it was a bunch of guys that some were really good, some were they were above the average players. That's why they were on the team. But I think the skill level has evened out a lot more, and we have every guy that's capable of playing on a first line, second line, or third line. So the, it gives the coaches a lot more flexibility. And even other countries that just started developing uh, sled hockey, they've gotten a lot better, like uh, Russia and Sweden. Sweden's come back, uh, South Korea took silver in Worlds, so they've really taken big strides.